Welcome parents to the Ages and Stages video series. I'm Dr. Audrey Robinson, the play therapist for Mesquite ISD, representing Best Care Anywhere, our MISD counseling services. One of my areas of expertise is child development, knowing what to expect from each different age and stage. I'm Lindsay Paris, community liaison for Mesquite ISD, representing Read Play Talk. My job focuses on helping families to maximize the benefits of reading, playing, and talking with their children every day. We want to help parents to know what to expect at each different stage of development and when they might want to seek support. We're kicking off our video series with talking about the littles. The years leading up to the start of school are so important, and you might not know that kids from birth can receive services even before kindergarten. We're going to talk through three different age groups since kids go through so many changes before school starts. We'll talk about birth to 18 months, 18 months to three, and three to five. In each age group, we will list typical behaviors. If you answer no to any of these, you may want to use the contact information at the end of this video to reach out and get support for your child. We're gonna start with infants through age 18 months. This is an exciting age with many firsts and changes. When you think about your baby, does he or she hear and look towards sounds, make noises and cry, or by six to seven months babble? Focus on objects between four and 30 inches away. Focus on and look for faces. Reach and touch objects, and if older than six months, grasp objects. Bond with caregivers and is wary of strangers. Show curiosity in the world around them. Let's move to toddler, focusing on 18 months to three years. This age group is often described by the words like terrible twos, but is a time of incredible growth and change. Does your toddler, respond to verbal commands, speak at least 50 words clearly, make and hold eye contact, use utensils, turn pages in a book, or hold a crayon, respond to physical sensations without an overreaction like hot and cold, different fabrics, small injuries, express a variety of emotions like laughing, smiling, crying, frustration, even the occasional temper tantrum is okay, explore the world around them, play alongside other children their age. Let's talk about three to five year olds. This group is often called preschoolers because they are close to school age or might be starting school. The world is opening up and these kids are interacting with it in all new ways. Does your three to five year old follow up to three step directions? Speak clearly multi-word sentences and questions? Walk and run with ease, not solely on their tiptoes and does not have repetitive motions like rocking or flapping of hands or lining up objects? Does your child show interest in a variety of activities and objects, not including technology? Having favorites, highly preferred versus only one object? Does your child typically handle small changes in routine, especially with advance warning okay? Notice and show concern for others? Pretend play and move between fantasy and reality? Play with other children, not necessarily sharing. If you said no to any of these, or if your child has a documented disability or impairment, like hearing or vision impairment, autism, emotional or intellectual disturbance, speech impairment, orthopedic impairment, traumatic brain injury, or other health diagnoses, they might qualify for what we call early childhood interventions through Dallas County or special school placement services. If you're not sure you can contact your child's pediatrician, reach out to your neighborhood school or call one of the numbers listed at the end of this video. A referral can be made by anyone, so if someone in your family, a friend, or a neighbor might benefit from services, reach out to your neighborhood school.